Hello, this is Trog, and welcome to my Livecraft world. This is after the very first stream for Livecraft, and I would like to say that it is so much fun to stream to make this series. There are a few things that I want to address before we begin, though, and that's the video is a little bit lower quality than what I usually put out, and so is the audio. So I am working on fixing that for the next stream. I have some ideas on how I would do that. So uh, yeah, that's that's basically it. Also, this world is creeper infested. So um, yeah, let's let's get on with Livecraft. Hello and welcome to the very first stream slash episode of Livecraft. Right now, we need to create a new world. This is just a little test world that I have going on for the Raven SMP mod pack. But yeah, we'll do it in creative first and then we can copy and paste the seed or something like that. So can I get a seed suggestion before we begin? So I'm just gonna put the last thing that was said in chat. There we go. Okay, so that's the, that's the seed. <laughs> And now let's get the customized world generation going. So what do we want? I know I want dungeons. You want lava lo oceans? <laughs> okay. Interesting. <laughs> well, there's the lava rivers. I thought it was supposed to be lava oceans. Not rivers. See, I don't know if I like that or not. It seems a little too excessive. I'm not sure. Oh my god. Um, I'm thinking no to the lava oceans because... Yeah. Um... <laughs> no. Uh, is it just go on forever? Oh look, we found it. We found a desert over here, past this uh, this lava ocean. <laughs> Let's get a, let, get another suggestion. I want the height stretch to be thirty six again. So the seed suggested was with interchanging the caps every other one. So as you can see, there's a big difference in the mountain ranges. The mountains are going to be huge. There's a cave down there. The mountains are going to be pretty big because, as you can see, this is like three times as big as what it normally is here, which gives a very good variety. Uh, it breaks up the land very nicely. And then the forest doesn't really change. It changes a little bit, as you can see, like where it does elevate, it does pop up a little bit. But interesting and this again from the beach and the water level raises up a lot and then ooh, this birch forest though the little hill on the birch forest is not so little anymore so i do like this y coordinate stretch we have going but i'm not sure what other scales to mess with depth noise exponent i think i'm gonna leave that one alone because i absolutely have no idea what this is i know exactly what the y stretch does and it was pretty extreme here so let's take it back down to 30 and then height scale i've, I've been messing with stuff over here but not anything over here biome depth weight maybe we can change this just a little bit and like double it and see how that goes so already i can kind of see the Oh, I can definitely, oh my god, I can definitely see the difference. This is the exact same seed that we used before when we turned around and there are sheep on the mountain, and now there are definitely sheep above the mountain. And this is the biome, this is the biome scale thing we've got going on. Oh, wow. Okay, so biomes are super, super separated, it looks like, on the Y coordinate. I think that's a little too much. I'm not sure if it's a little too much, but... And then we got these deep chasms. 
I like these deep chasms a lot. I can see some really cool builds going on with it. Yeah, with the, with these rivers going through, I can imagine some really cool builds popping up off of this with bridges going across and different things like that. This could be like a little archway down. I could see some sort of kingdom going up here. That one, that one, yes. And then we want to go to customize dungeons always up those because it makes caving fun then the biome depth weight is what we changed and i doubled that so i'm going to if we say if it was doubled then i'd say i wanted to go to like 60 669 maybe and then we can leave everything else the same so that was noise up to there Yep, and then we had the height stretch to 30. Okay, let's try that and see how that goes. And that's really annoying. If you notice, we spawn somewhere weird every single time. It's a little bit different. Okay, that's a lot less contrasting, but it still gives that really high peaks. Those really high peaks. It's just not as much, I think. Yeah, that is, that is a lot less, isn't it? I think this is a lot better. And it still has these chasms. They're just not as, like, whenever I go over here, it actually slopes up instead of just straight up. Whoa, 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 look at the snow. This is, this is caused by the X and Y, or X and Z noise that we had, and it gives some really weird snow patterns. So everything here, I think, this is my nerd showing out a lot, I think, but... Everything that isn't covered in snow has been changed by the X and Z noise uh, setting that we did. I think that's I think that's the issue. So like here it's messed up. Here not so much. Like it's affected a little bit, but not as much. Very interesting. I think I think this is what we should go with. Let's actually get some tools and start out on this world. Now that we've messed with all those different world presets. Let's just start with normal chopping down trees. Oh, what is this? Okay, there's just a little bit of lag. My computer's lagging just from all the sheer amount of crap that's going on. No walking, no mouse challenge, no breathing cha- Let's see how long I can go. I'm actually a swimmer, so I can- I'm used to it and holding my breath, so like I'll, I'll do a no breathing. Here we go. <gasps> this is all it's gonna take, just no breathing. It's fine. Commentating without breathing, barely putting any, any air coming out of my mouth. I'm actually struggling a little bit here because I haven't breathed yet. This is a, uh, I haven't done one of these in a very long time. No blinking either. Oh gosh. My eyes are going to start watering and everything like that. It's going to be a nightmare. And I'm losing my voice because I can't even talk anymore because my breath. <gasps> okay. Okay, I'm done. I'm done with the no breathing challenge. No blinking. I, I will not do any no blinking. Why are we thinking of dumb challenges that will like make Trog suffer? Why is, why are we doing that? So, by the way, I just installed Blaze and Caves Advancement Packs. We can look at that and it's already installed. We've already unlocked the mining branch, the building branch, and the farming branch. Pretty cool. The Blaze and Caves Advancement Pack has a little thing in it where they give you an item. So, like, for getting wood, I got two pieces of oak wood. It's, like, whatever. But it still helps and it's really nice. We need to get food situated. I feel bad killing all of these sheep, but there's, holy crap, look at all the sheep over there. Yeah, yeah, I don't feel bad killing the sheep anymore. Not at all. Okay, so then it tells me like what tabs I have open. So I think I just opened combat, right? Yeah, combat and adventure interesting i love i love these in streams someone says bye and i immediately think oh that person's leaving but it turns out that i missed the message 
that like someone else was leaving in this case elena left and i said bye kevin <laughs> and this happens like every stream bye elena <laughs> Uh, I don't understand this anymore. Where is the village? Okay, there it is. There's the village. We'll head there so we don't have to make a house or anything like that. That can be our little base for now. But what do you say about a kingdom? Whenever I was flying around, uh, whenever we were testing out the world, I immediately thought that this place with, like, bridges that go across that... Uh, those those gaps because of the river um and like i immediately thought of like the troll under the bridge type of thing i was thinking maybe we could do something like that but then that would put us in like a medieval style for or not medieval but like a i don't know what the style would be it it put us in this uh this rustic style i guess that's just me though that's that's what i saw when I saw it. What did you guys see? Think. Oh, hi. You. There's a lot in there. Please. Uh. Oh, my gosh. I just saved, like, the entire village in one house. Holy crap. <laughs> uh. How many villagers are there in here? One, two, three, four, f five, six. <laughs> six villagers in there. There we go. Okay, so they're blocked off. They can't get out. They can't get hurt by zombies. A worn down kingdom. Yeah, and a, a, a worn down one like it's old or a worn down one like it's abandoned. Because either one, like both have their different sides to them. Ooh, nope, 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 nope. Okay. Uh. Oh, broken like someone raided it. That would be really cool because then we could build something... Like, because that's, that's awesome, because that, that gives me ideas for, like, then we could put, like, the people who raided it, or something else where they're, like, they're on top of this mountain, right? So maybe whatever, whoever raided it actually, like, sieged the castle or sieged the, the civilization up there. They, like, cut off all supplies um, in and out. Oh no, zombie villagers are already, they got into things. Okay, okay, there's, okay, let, let's just, it's the apocalypse out here. We should probably sleep so this doesn't happen. Okay. Whew. Whew. I like, I like that idea. So, that's, that's, that's what we're gonna do. The bridges could be broken. Some of those bridges could be broken, and that's actually where some of the siege happens. Maybe. I'm thinking that's that's a good idea. I don't know why I'm just out here fighting mobs. I, can't, I haven't even eaten, so it's not like I can regen or anything. I'm just kind of wandering. No, you don't. I don't want another creeper blown up. Woo! What a creep. I think I'm going to wrap it up. Oh! Okay, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for participating in the stream. I will see you guys in the next one.